Terry, mate, you sign a model of Lisa. Doug, good morning and um, today I am in search of a personal photo actually for home. My wife has asked me to do a new image for the uh, bathroom and since it is in the autumn time and it has been a good bit of rain, I'd said I'd come to one of the most iconic waterfalls in the Munster area. So I'm in the Killarney National Park and I'm at uh, Torque Waterfall and as you can see it is flowing quite well. It's a very popular area so I've come early and there has been quite a lot of people around me. Right now it's actually quite unusual to see nobody else here bar one other photographer which is actually a friend of mine that's come along with me today. So um, what I'm aiming to try and do is to get a nice shot of the flow of the water coming here right to the top of the waterfall. I would have liked to see if there was some uh, colours in the leaves across the way from that or either side but there's not. But I'm here, I'm going to get some shots, going to go for a long exposure to get the movement in the water and we'll see then how the uh, shot will turn out. Okay, so I'm set up here now at the base of the waterfall and it is actually proving to be a uh, difficult shot to get. Even though it is cloudy and it's ideal light, there's no real direct light that's going to give any highlights. It is actually proving a difficult shot to get because at the very top of the waterfall here, um, the sky is so bright and it is quite dark again inside here. Plus, on top of all that, with the flow that's in the water, there is a huge um, spray and mist that's coming down. So I'm finding that I'm regularly having to take out my cloth and clean the front of the, uh, the lens because otherwise each shot is going to end up soft, it can't get focused. So um, I've taken a couple of te test shots here just from this location that I have the uh, camera set up on. Don't know if that will be the end shot but I'm going to aim for a, anywhere between a one and a half and a three and a half second um, exposure. Might try and bring that down and aim for a half a second just with the light that's there to help me to expose it better. As I would have said in the uh, previous um, episode of my vlog, the polarizer is a great filter and particularly right now because all along the rocks that we have here, we've got the sheen from the light that's coming on the top. So if I use the polarizer, it's actually going to take the, um, as he's taking a picture as I'm doing this. Uh, so I have Dave with me here today who's helping me. He's actually um, using the screen as a monitor for him recording. But anyhow, um, if I'm uh, taking a shot here with these rocks with the reflection, it will give a big glare. So if I use the polarizer on that, it will actually take off the glare uh, and give more of a focus then to what I want it to be, which is on the waterfall itself. Also, I was hoping to have um, more color either sides of the uh, waterfall. Autumn has started, but it actually hasn't really kicked in yet. But I wanted to get down today because we have the tail end of a hurricane that's coming in and it probably will blow a lot of the leaves that are on the trees off. So if any opportunity for me to get the shot this season, I think today was the day to do that. So I'm gonna crack on, try a couple of more different compositions. Hopefully I can get the shot because I have to go specific for a um, portrait image um, because where I want to put it, it's gonna be in a portrait positioning. Plus that leads nicely to the shape and the flow of the, uh, the waterfall. Okay, talk back in a moment. So I've taken my shots there and I hope that I'm able to get a shot that I'm happy with. Um, even like I said earlier on that the conditions are right, it's actually quite difficult because with the flow of the water I want to get in a bit deeper but I can't get in as far as I wanted to go. And uh, I don't really think that this will be the shot that I will be um, end up printing for at home because as I said I was looking for uh, more colour in the trees. Maybe a couple of more weeks, hopefully the storm that's coming doesn't blow them all away. But um, Again, as always, it's good to get to a location, good to get out shooting. And um, one of the things that I found here was, as I said a second ago, I'll try and get some different exposure times. Half a second to one second actually was the right uh, exposure. I did have to put on a 0.9 um, grad ND as well to take down the highlights from right above on the waterfall. However, um, again, as I said, good to get a couple of photos. Hopefully I've got some uh, shots that will be nice here. I have the GoPro as well set up here. It's been recording the whole time, so that might give me 
uh, an interesting um, uh, video uh, time lapse at the very end of this. So I'm going to move away from the uh, waterfall. Now, gone off, this will be the last uh, spot from here, but we'll have a look down further, maybe get some shots there with less spray, and uh, hopefully we'll see how those turn out. Look for a bit of colour, maybe a uh, unique tree or something like that. Okay, thanks.